Hello, hello, and welcome to the Notary Life with Kimmy podcast. I am also one of the trainers with Notary Educators, which includes myself, Kimmy Nunnally, Angela Johnson, and Alexis Franklin. We each own our own very successful notary businesses and teach notaries in all 50 states to be great and grow their own business. We will discuss general notary work, apostilles, ink fingerprinting, and the duties of a notary signing agent, and much, much more. For all of your notary needs, please visit notaryeducatorsllc.com. We hope you enjoy the show, and we wish you much success. Hello, hello. Hey guys, welcome to Notary Life with Kimmy. How is everyone doing on Friday? Hey Frank, Pamela, J, Linda, what's going on people? And everybody else who is joining us, welcome, welcome. I say us because Angela is supposed to join me. And tonight guys, we're going to still walk away friends. I want y'all to promise me that. <laughs> Everybody on the replay too. I want y'all to still be my friend because I'm coming hard tonight. Notary, stop making excuses. And I'm going to cover this in just a second. I was going to give a few more people a second to get on. How y'all doing out there? It is super cold here in Atlanta. I don't know what the weather is like. I think around the all 50 states actually is kind of crazy right now. But um, welcome to everyone that's just joining us. Tonight's topic is notary, stop making excuses. And I was just saying, I want y'all to be my friend after tonight, because y'all know I'm usually kind of sugary and sweet. But tonight is going down, y'all. <laughs> it's going down. So let's talk about it. So let's see, we got about 16 people. It's Friday night. Should we wait two more seconds? Let's see, we'll wait two more. Two more. Let's say hey. Hey, John Gabriel. Hey, first time I saw your name. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Pennsylvania is freezing too, huh? Oh, Facebook. It did let Facebook on. I was trying not to do Facebook. Hey, Yashir. Hey, welcome. Let me see. Can I pull Facebook up? Because Facebook was giving me, um, I don't always see all the comments on Facebook. So when I'm on here by myself, I try not to do Facebook because I don't want to miss you guys over there. Let me try. See, can I see the comments really quick? And we're going to get started. Um, yeah, Alexis is there. I can see that. Okay. Well, we'll get started, guys. Oh, here's Angela. Perfect timing. Hey, Angela. Welcome. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome. Let me send the link to Alexis because I don't know if she was going to join us or not. So let me just send it to her really quick. Sorry about that. You guys know I go live sometime without the crew. Hey, Frank from L.A. I'm going to send it to Alexis. Linda. All right, cool, because I didn't know she was going to hop on. So no, tonight's no. topic, guys, is notary, stop making excuses. Okay, so confession is good for the soul. Baltimore is cold, too. What's up, Bryce, Nakia? Hey, Bryce, oh. Nakia. And Laura. Mm -hmm. Hey, Laura. In Baltimore. Hey guys, so confession is good for the soul. So before we get started, let me know if you have put a one in the chat, if you have declined a signing this week because either it was too far, the pay was too low, the documents were too many pages. Put a one if you have declined a signing this week. I'm just curious. So the reason this topic came about was a couple of reasons. The reasons. One was... Something happened in Facebook. I was reading something and I was like, but that's still a nice amount of money. It was a signing that someone turned down. And then um, last week, someone made the comment, well, it's kind of far because of ABC. And I got to thinking, I was like, but if we turn it down everything, we're not going to make any money. And of course, we're going to say the market is slow and all these different reasons, right? Right? So I was like, that sounds like a lot of excuses. So let's see. So, BB, hey. So, let's see. John Gabriel says, I haven't gotten a signing, but literally just got in the game a week or two ago. So, you don't count, John Gabriel. Oh, welcome, John Gabriel. You don't count. Yeah, you don't count. You I'm count, talking about but... the ones who have their toner. 
their equipment. They have everything they need to get started, but they're turning down assignments because either it's too far, too much printing, too the pay is too low, and they only want to do certain kind of packages. So we're going to talk about it one by one. So these are some excuses. I'm going to use the word excuses that people are putting in Facebook because I'm reading the Facebook. I'm in more than one group. We have our own notary educators, right. but I'm in a couple other ones also. And I see these things a lot. So as I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about my journey when I first started. I was taking assignments, guys, for $30. Sometimes it was 20 minutes away. Sometimes it was 15 minutes away. Sometimes it was five minutes away, but it was 30 bucks. And I think you guys may or may not know my story when I, I did a video when I first started. Maybe not. So that's been so long ago. But when I first started, um, I took quite a few $30 assignments. For a whole month after I got my commission, I refused those $30 assignments because I was watching YouTube like everybody else. Mm -hmm. And it said, don't leave your house under $100. So I was like, I'm not doing that. So I finally realized, Kim, you have no experience. <laughs> Zero, you done bought all this equipment. Mm -hmm. I have my brother's dual tray. Mm -hmm. You know, I got everything, right? Because I'm that notary. So I got my dual tray printer. I got my scanner. I got my paper, mm -hmm. eight and a half by 11, eight and a half by 14. And I got the nerves to say, I'm not going to do that job. Excuse me. So about 30 days, I waited a whole month. Now, Angela, you could tell us your experience. But I waited a whole month. And then I started taking those $30 jobs. I was knocking them out. Boom, 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 literally. So by the time I was doing those $30 jobs, I mean, they were adding up. I would do like five a day, six a day. And by the time, like I said, them $30 checks start rolling in, I had a $30 checks. And it, it made a difference. It really did. Um, so as I started taking those jobs... Then I realized, I said, I was getting experience. Then the public started calling me with some of those documents that I was learning about. I, I just use it as an experience, free on the job training, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why they send out those little jobs sometimes, because it's like, they don't know what kind of notary you're going to be. Mm -hmm. So eventually I started getting higher paying assignments, even from that same company, mm -hmm. right? Because they started seeing, okay, she knows what she's doing. Because we talked about this the other day. They give you a $30 job because they already know they got to pay another notary to go fix it. 90% of us out there don't know what we're doing. And that's just real talk. And so how about your first few jobs? Um, right. did, you take, did you take lower paying jobs or you didn't have to? I Well, so our experience is different. I didn't have to, but I still took a couple. I didn't have to because our background was different. I, I was like... Um, Worked for the law firm, did mortgage documents, mortgage stuff. So I already knew how to do it. So I didn't, they never, I, they, I didn't really get a lot of lower paying jobs. So let's take that back too, because our experience was different also in the fact that I started during COVID when the signing companies were like, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> you did not start with the same signing companies that I started with. You well, started with like some of the higher paying ones off the bat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. But I actually started with some of the lower paying <laughs> ones because when I started, it was a lot of companies that needed help. So again, I did a lot of thirty dollars jobs, right. a lot of them. Right. So we're gonna take them one by one, though. So everybody's experience mm -hmm. is different. So some notaries too, depending on where you are in the United States, you may start off getting hundred and fifty dollars jobs. So for you, it's like thirty dollars, <laughs> never. But if you just start now, you sitting at home and you don't have nothing going on, and you just sitting there waiting on a hundred fifty dollars job to come through, or hundred dollars or whatever, you might just be sitting there. But let's take them one by one. The first thing I hear that's an excuse, sometimes, depending on your whole situation, so I'm not going to get into everybody's situation because I don't know what that is, but the first one is the job is too far. To me, if I'm sitting at home and somebody send me a job for $90, I have nothing going on, nothing in the pipeline, and I didn't bought all my equipment, toner, and all that stuff, am I not going to take a $90 job that might require me to go a half hour each way? So just say if it took two hours, let's just say the whole thing took two hours. That's still $90. The average person does not make $45 an hour. And so, Kim, on that note, yes, I took a, I took a few lower paying jobs, but I'm going to bring it up to current because I have a um, client direct that sends me jobs. And sometimes they ask me to go further than the distance 
that they that they have me for in their system mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so it will take me whereas it would usually take me 20 or 25 minutes to get to the job one way it takes me 45 minutes to get to the job so that's like an hour and a half they don't all, they don't pay me no more than they already paid me to get to the 25 dollar i mean 25 minute job but i take those jobs for the same amount that they pay me for the lower commute jobs right so that's right. the same thing to me i'm not going to tell my direct client that i'm not taking that job because that's too far and you're not paying me any extra money i take the job because i figure that's not even a fourth of a tank of gas there and back so i'm still you know so that's the way i look at it i'm not going to turn down the job because you're not going to pay me more right so that's a business decision and you're a boss notary so you know in the big scheme of things so what if they paid you a little bit less to go further because you know they're gonna send you more work exactly and i actually pulled that stunt recently <laughs> it didn't go good what happened <laughs> i didn't even tell you about it. i was kind of embarrassed so i had a client he and it's a regular direct and this particular day he wanted me to go further it was early in the morning too you guys know i like to kind of start late i'm a late notary i like that 10 o'clock 11 o'clock till eight o'clock at night i'm that person it was eight o'clock in the morning it was 25 dollars less than he normally charges so he pays me rather so he tells me well it's just a seller's package it's only so many pages da 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 da, da. and i was like and eh. i said well if you can't find anyone i'm smug right if you can't find anyone else to do it feel free to call me back oh really kim <laughs> So needless to say, he did not call me back. I'm sure he found another notary that was willing to take the money because it wasn't bad money. The, I should have just been like, you know what? I have an appointment because um, I didn't want to go that early, you know. So all that being said, though, that's an excuse sometimes, guys. If, it, if you're just starting out, do the math, like for real. Even if it's $90 and it's an hour for you to go each way. I mean, not each way, but total everything is two hours to go there, come back and help that client. And you have $90. I guarantee most of us do not make $45 an hour. Oh, on our job. Say that. Mm -hmm. We do not. So you have to do the whole pack. Even if it was an hour and a half, let's just say you're just starting out and your phone is just starting to ring and ding with notifications. You have to start somewhere. And I look at yeah. it. I look at it like this. If they're gonna pay you the ninety dollars to go an hour go an hour and a half, that's not even a tank of gas. So, in essence, you're still making making out. I mean, enjoy yes. the weather, enjoy the scenery. So, <laughs> what you say? Enjoy the scenery. Enjoy the scenery. That's what I do. I turn my radio on ten, roll my windows down when that client calls me and said, "Go forty five minutes one way, and the other way, and don't pay me any extra." And I just. Uh, somebody who you like talking to get on the phone and yeah talk on the phone for 30 minutes and you know my sister be like you haven't gotten there yet i'm like no girl keep talking <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta and, but like kim said because i do that the client be feeding me those extra you know so you gotta do what you gotta do because if you get 90 job i mean ten dollars i mean ten jobs paying ninety dollars girl y'all got them numbers in my head so i'm going crazy over here that's nine hundred dollars okay would that pay your rent this month if you did 10 signings at ninety dollars because that's yeah. where I, that's the way i look at it. i look at it, well i gotta go here it's gonna take me an hour and a half uh it won't even be a half a tank of gas and i'm still gonna be like this much money on top of i'll do it yeah i'm going to get my money so even with my 30 dollars jobs i'm gonna go back to that because i i did quite a few at that 30 dollar mark and i'm not i did quite a few guys i was tearing it up and um again my resume was building because i would take those jobs it's a pro tip for you i would take those notary jobs from general notary and put it over into my snap docs so they could see that count just going up going up and before i knew it i had like 50. 25 or whatever i was like wow i didn't realize i was doing so many right so some i learned that tip from somebody else i want to say it was the notary um solutions by tj um a long time ago when i first started um so you take your general notary work just for clarification so if i do a power returning signing i take that same signing 
You don't have to give SnapDocs all the information. They really just require the address, the last name of the client. You don't have to give them everything. And then that goes into your account. It does show up. So that's a tip. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did, though. So that's how I started growing my business and getting my name out there. Mm -hmm. And then so let's go on to number two. So number one is is too far. The next excuse we hear quite often is too much printing. They want me to print 100 pages. They want me to put print 25 pages and I got to print it two times, you know. So what? A pack of paper is ten dollars. Is it ten dollars now? Because I bought cases the last few times. How much is a pack of paper? Uh, it depends on what brand you get, you know, what quality you get. Well, I'm getting the cheapest quality. So what, like $5 a pack, $10 a okay. pack? No, a, a 500 ream is like at Walmart, you can get it for like six seventy nine or something like that. All right, let's say $10 just to be on the on the crazy That's side. Cool. $7. If it takes you $10 <laughs> with a pack of paper, right, and with your toner and everything, a little bit that it's going to use, let's say $15. But they still paying you 90 guys or 75. Again, you're gonna still come out when you look at the big picture. So you got your mileage normally. You are not tax accountants, but you can write the mileage off. You can write your printing expenses off on your taxes. So what may sound up front like, oh, it's 200 pages, it's really not when it comes to the money because a pack of paper is less than ten dollars. Mm-hmm. Again, you can write some of this stuff off on your taxes as business expenses. Mm-hmm. You're growing your notary resume. You're getting your name out there with companies, right? So don't let too much printing be an excuse. Mm-hmm. Angela, what's your thoughts? I agree. Uh, because when you look at the big scheme of things, if you have a, a laser printer, I've had the same toner in my printer for like seven months. Because you got the laser print, printer have like four or 5,000 copies. Yep. And so when you look at the grand scheme of things and how much money you're spending, you're still making money. And like Kim mentioned earlier, volume adds up. When you got volume, it's best to have $20, $30 than $290. Volume yep. is what counts a lot of times. And if you add up your gas and your printer costs, you're gonna be you're gonna be on top. And that's what I do when clients call me and say, can you go to Monroe, Georgia and drive out and have two ways on them back roads and traffic? And I'm <laughs> going that's the way I look at it. Right. That's right. It and then you're going to become the go-to notary. Why? Because they're constantly saying, oh, Kimberly's in Snailville. Kimberly's in Snailville. Kimberly's in Snailville. Oh, I got an assignment in Snailville because they got the same schedulers that work the same area normally. So they know who's where, believe it or not, they start remembering just like we do. And they like, oh, let me call Kimberly. And during the height of things, guys, that you hear about, I had one company. (laughs) I was like family, okay? I loved working for them. Now, they send me stuff now, but because of the little shift in the market, it's mostly in Atlanta. But during the heyday, they would send me stuff right up the street from me right up the street and they paid very well and i was loving every minute of it i did so many jobs for them i was like oh my god this is amazing they knew me like i said for real i knew them they knew me right all that being said don't let printing be another excuse okay so so far we talked about number one things being too far number two is a printing number three we kind of already talked about what we're gonna hit it one more time the pay being too low If you don't know what you're doing, they're not going to pay you these $100 jobs. They're not going to give you these $100 jobs, these $90 jobs. You have to earn people's trust and respect out there as a notary. Because, again, most notaries, you hear it in these Facebook groups, they they have to get everything double stamped. It ain't go right the first time. The finding companies are complaining. Don't nobody know what a giraffe is. Don't nobody know what an acknowledgement is. They didn't stamp it where where they're not supposed to. They didn't add something they're not supposed to. So they have to save a little reserve from the money that they're getting Mm -hmm. in order to, um, I hear this little background, I cut off my Facebook. They have to save the little money that they're getting. And even if they're making a profit, which we know ain't nobody doing nothing for it without a profit, right? The signing companies are going to make a profit. But they have have to save a little bit of that profit because they already know Nine out of 10 times, they're going to send me out there. I don't know what I'm doing. Just say, for example, because y'all know I do. 
And then they got to hire Angela to go back out there because they already know it ain't going to be right. Angela had a job recently. She did five different times. I've had one like that recently, five different times for notaries had to go out there. They was like, what happened with the lady? And it was a, a POA signing, I think you told me. And then she said, why didn't nobody else tell me this? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, the lady, um, I got... Was it a company? It was a company job, though. And so she had three different notaries uh, fill out her paperwork and notarize her paperwork. This was just recent. And when I went to her and um, she couldn't figure out why that she had to sign the document again. And I'm like, I don't know what they did wrong because so I can't explain it to you. And so as I was explaining to her how to sign and fill out the documents, she was like, oh, my gosh. She's like, so I got to feel it. I said, yes, you got to feel like exactly like this. You have to put this here. You have to do that. She said, well, that's why the document kept getting rejected. She said, because none of the other three notaries ever told me that. She said, I did not. And she said, this is the first time I'm doing it this way. None of the three notaries told me that. So people don't know what they're doing. I said, I, I said well, I said, this is the way you have to fill it out in order for it not to get rejected. I got a call today. Early this morning, the company called me direct and asked me to go to John's Creek to do a notary for somebody who had messed up the documents. So, as you guys can see, that's why they have to save some money. They can't give all the money to me even if they want to because they already know they got to pay somebody else to go out there and fix something. Mm -hmm. And, again, that's where proper training comes in. So, that was something that, a little bit off the norm. But um, that's something we teach in our long signing class, how to handle a POA signing, okay? Because it, it doesn't happen all the time. And see, this is the thing I find with people that, when it comes to training and, you know, even like my fingerprint course and my I-9 course and all that, people like, oh, I don't want to buy it. I don't need it. I don't get that many calls. But when you do get it, you need to know how to handle it. The same thing with the power of attorney signing. You don't get that all the time, but you need to know it exists you need to know what it is and to be a pro at it, right? So we've talked about, let me get my notes back. Too far, too much printing, pay too low. And now the last one, number four, another excuse that notaries use, they only want to do small packages. It must be a HELOC or mm -hmm. loan mod. It must be a HELOC. A HELOC is a home equity line of credit. Just for those of you who are new, and that's where somebody's taking equity from their home, they might want to build a swimming pool, pay off some bills, pay the kids college, whatever, mm -hmm. and they're taking some equity out. Those packages tend to be about 50 to 60 pages, even less sometimes. And then you have the loan modification. Same thing for those who are new. When a signer is just changing the terms of their loan, those tend to be less than 35, sometimes 40. I've had them as small as 12 pages. Now, I love those. But they don't come out all day, every day, right? Right? So you cannot just sit around and wait for the notification that says loan mod or home equity, you won't work. Mm -hmm. Why can't you do a refi? Why can't you do the reverse mortgage? Now, it ain't my cup of tea, the reverse mortgage. I've never even completed one because I've always run from them. But we have somebody in our Facebook group that she loves them, tears them up. And she's blowing them out the water. Mm -hmm. You know, that ain't my cup of tea again. So just another one is a long um, initial application. You may see that one out there. I do have a couple of videos about all the different documents. Um, so you might want to check that out if you're new. But um, another one that I may avoid sometimes, it just depends on what my money looking like, is initial disclosures. Now, those can be easy, but sometimes it's an older clientele also, and they take a long time, or they might be ex-military with cognitive issues sometimes, and they might take a little longer to do the signing. So just depend on my schedule and my budget. But again, don't run from those guys. If you ain't doing nothing, you need to be getting your money. So these are excuses that we have been finding recently. I'm going to recap, and I'll let Angela you know, give us some final note, thoughts. But the four reasons are it's too far, too much printing, pay is too low, and they want to do a certain kind of package, or I'm not leaving my house. What well, are you not going to work? Angela? Well, when you're first starting a business, you're new. To me, you got trained, you get your training. 
it's like you should use that as a stepping stone to build your business. So you got to look at the big picture. When, when you get out of school and you get a job for whatever uh, you major in, you're not going to start at the top of the leaderboard. They're going to start you at a certain level. And maybe three months, six months, nine months that you go down the line, they're going to upgrade your pay and give you pay uh, according to how long you've been doing it. It's like a person who comes out of college and got a master's degree or a bachelor's degree. If I've been in this job, you know, for 20 years, they still not going to get paid more than me because I have the experience. And so use those low paying, you know, opportunities to get the experience and to build your business. It's all about building your business. Mm -hmm. And if you want to be a boss, you want to build your business, then you're going to do what you got to do to build your business and make things work. So that's the way I view it. Right, right. So we're going to take a few questions. And again, guys, don't make excuses. Don't make excuses and then tell us, oh, there aren't any jobs or, oh, there aren't any notifications. There aren't any signings. Because I know for a fact they are coming out. And I turned down quite a few. It might be in Atlanta. I'm like, I'm not going out there right now. Today, I don't feel like that. But if I needed to, I would be going out there, you know, and I and I'll take jobs that are further away and um in a heartbeat. I've traveled the most I've traveled is two hours. And I know Angela's traveled about the same distance. I've gone to Rome, Georgia, um, several times actually. That's like um about an hour and a half, hour forty-five. What's the furthest you've traveled, Angela? Georgia, South Carolina border. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. So so we will do it. So we're not just telling you to do something that we won't do. I'm like, Angela, we put the music on if Jeff and I go together and I'll stop and give me a frappe. That's my little treat because I'm doing something, you know, kind of out the ordinary that I really don't want to do probably. But we just make an adventure out of it. So mm -hmm. so let's get a couple of these comments. So I, I, hello, everyone, and welcome, hello, hello. welcome. And those who will join us on the replay, I'm going to say, I'm going to start at 807. Angela, you can let me know if I missed something. So okay. Janae or Jeanette um, says, hey, Kimmy and Angela, my first time watching live. Welcome. I've bought and read both of your books, Hustling Up Money to Get My Commission. Can't wait to take Angela's off hostile class. So in most states, um, the commission is not that much. So let's make sure that you are not using that as an excuse. Because <laughs> normally, I don't know what state you're in, but they, I mean, 40 to $50. Some states are as low as 10 or $20 to get your commission. So make sure we're not just using it as an excuse. And welcome for your first time here. We appreciate welcome, you being welcome. here. Brian says, I think most of us have taken offer for some of those $30 loan mods. Yeah, but they add up. Hey, Tanika, welcome. And uh, let's see. John Gabriel says, is a long signing amount different from general notary? Yes. 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 Most of the time, long signing um, assignments pay more. Well, you know what? I'm not going to say that because it just well, depends. I just did a uh, GNW job the other day for $145. And the company determines how much they're going to pay you for long signing. Yeah, the company does. So, I mean, it depends on where you're located. It's a lot of variables, but I won't just say general. No, I mean, long signing pays more because it does not always pay more. It just depends on all the circumstances. Documents, <laughs> distance, emergency. Yeah. Yeah, documents, distance, number of signers. I mean, it's a lot that goes into your GNW pricing. Long signing is pretty much set by the company, but again, it depends on if you're in California versus Georgia. You know what I'm saying? So we always teach around here, know how to do a little bit of everything. When my mm -hmm. phone rings, I can be, I put my long signing hat on. Mm. Mm -hmm. If the phone rings, I can put my GNW hat on. Mm -hmm. I can put on my fingerprint hat. I got a kit, right? I'm a fingerprinter. Mm. I do I9s. Mm -hmm. I do apostilles. I do proctor. <laughs> I do everything. All right, y'all. What else we got? Um, yeah, we talked about that, Gabriel. The fee. Can you see Facebook, Angela? Yes. Um, Levon Odom said, "Any advice in an attorney-only state as far as marketing?" What state are you in? Because we're in attorney states, so we market to. I don't. I don't market to attorneys myself. Me either. Um, I get my most of my loan signings from signing companies or direct. <clears throat> they find me on Google. So make sure your Google page is tight. Yep. Make sure your loan signing um profiles are tight. Like all the information is there. I just had someone call me from 
Where they call me from? Florida. Oh, Gainesville, Florida. Set Thursday. Okay. Oh, a title yep. company. That's another tip too. You can look outside of your attorney state for um, signings. So if you need to set up for a sign up for a coaching corner with us, we can do a deep dive into your profile mm. and make sure everything is tight for you, so you can start hopefully receiving some assignments and go over some marketing and um, pricing tips with you. Yeah. Chantel says hi everybody. I passed my notary test today. Yay! So what do I do next? Chantel from Philly. <laughs> Chantel, you want to say something, Angela? No, if she, I, I don't know if Chantel is taking any like notary training. Does she mean yeah. like a test? That's what I was going to recommend. Either get my great book right now for um, all states, and it takes you step by step how to build out your business. If you need your basic general notary duties, that's going to be our Notarize Like a Pro online course or live training. So normally when you first fin finish your um, getting your commission, most states do not have any training, so you will definitely don't want to wing it, okay? And congratulations on your commission. Correct. Congrats. Miss Perfectly Imperfect says zero plus zero equals zero for real. I don't care what language you speak. Zero plus zero is zero. <laughs> okay. All uh, right, Tanya. And then Chantel says, thanks, guys. I have one question. Can I now sit see? see at the big people table since I graduated to being a notary. <laughs> <laughs> welcome yes. to the big girl seat. Big table. Notary welcome, table. To, welcome to the table. Yes. Congratulations again. <laughs> Nikki's Universe says, hey, Kimmy and Angela, I'm a Texas online notary trying to now get GNW. Any tips on a shoestring budget? Free Google my business. Free Google profile. Yeah. That's the quickest way. And business cards, you can get you a hundred for ten dollars. Watch my business card video and watch my Google My Business um videos for some tips. Okay. John Gabriel says, What if you work nine to five? You can work on the weekends. They do have signings on the weekend. Evenings. Also, go ahead, Angela. Weekends and evenings. Weekends, evenings, and you also want to check into um doing a little bit of um, general notary make sure your google page is tight mm -hmm. and that way you can really get the get the weekend and evening people angela i think the next question is for you uh, angela can i take your apostille training without having my commission the answer is yes so uh being an apostille agent is not a commission uh not what am i trying to say it's you don't need to be a notary yeah so it has nothing to do, do with being a notary it's nice to be a notary because you don't have to get outside sources to notarize the documents that require notarizations. But the answer is yes, I have a class tomorrow. Three more spots open. Go to notaryeducatorsllc.com if you want to take tomorrow's class. It's at five or six. I can't remember. Oh, is that on the uh, website, Angela, your class? Yes, it is. I don't recall seeing it. Oh, we should have been talking about it. So Angela does have an apostille class tomorrow. Mm -hmm evening so if you're interested you can check that out but john yeah, gabriel says can't wait to get some signings just want to get into it what you say angela i said but you don't have to have your commission oh yeah because it's not a non-notorial you don't even have to be a notary technically yeah we just always recommend it because it's just adding more money to your pocket so if you're doing the apostille part or facilitating it better way to say it and that document needs to be notarized now you have to go find a notary so I have yep. about six videos on our pastel, so I will check that playlist out so you can become better familiar with the process. Linda, congrats on your fingerprinting tomorrow. I saw that. Yes, Linda, congratulations. Yes, make sure you get in the Facebook group and tell us how that's going, okay? Precious 41, hello. Chantel says, the paper I buy is Hammer Mill and it costs eight ninety nine. Yep. And I agree with Kimmy and her analogy. After buying everything and then write, writing it off, what's 10 pennies we're walking away with a lot of money yep mm -hmm. with the bag actually yeah <laughs> so um angela said linda says yes angela totally totally agree every dollar counts it does mm -hmm. it does and john gabriel says we're gonna get ready to wrap it up too guys john gabriel says when you all go to notary did you go straight into llc or wait i have a video on that john gabriel i actually waited about four months because i wanted to make sure i was going to do the business for me it took me four months once i realized i was going to actually do this as a business i did llc it it's not a requirement to get started what's your thoughts angela it's not it i had a different business 
But I waited a few months to see if this is what I really wanted to do before I invested additional funds into getting an LLC. So I didn't get an LLC right away uh, for either of my businesses. I waited to see if this is something I was going to really stick to. Because mm -hmm. LLCs are not cheap, depending on what state you're in. And once you get the LLC, then you also have to pay annually to maintain it. So it's not a one and done, you know, depending on if you end up getting a registered agent and all that. That's a whole nother topic. Somebody that's going to get your mail for you. I don't do that. I'm getting away from that. Watch my video about they tried to shut down my LLC and that'll make more sense. But um, don't be laughing, Angela. I'm, I'm going to be my own registered agent. Oh, really? I said that a few videos ago. I'm going to be my own registered agent. So anyway, watch that video. They they try to shut down my LLC. Okay. Uh, Chantel says a half a loaf of that bread, a loaf is better than no loaf at all. That's true. Half That's is true. better than nothing. And then what else on Facebook, Angela? Oh, no, we got that one. And then Janette says, sorry in Missouri meant for hustling for the NNA stuff. Okay. Oh, she's in Missouri, so I don't know what your stuff... And your supplies shouldn't cost that much. You need a stamp. Your basic supplies will be an ink stamp, a sure. journal. See if you need notary um, bond insurance and notary oh, yeah. insurance. Your pens. So just check your state. Yeah, some ink pens from Dollar Tree. Most of your stuff you can get right at Dollar Tree mm -hmm. just to get started anyway. So watch my supply video. I have two of them. I know I have two supply videos. Yeah. And let's see, we're going to wrap up here. Linda says, yes, Google My Business is especially key post daily. She get a lot of business from Google My Business. Yes. Yay, Linda. Mm -hmm. I know Linda been doing her thing. We've watched her grow. we watched Linda grow from it's the beginning. Amazing. So we are happy not, for you, Linda. Yeah, it's not popcorn meals over here, guys. It's slow cook, but it's working. We really um, watch Linda grow. Precious, Precious Lady 40 says, how long does it usually take to get the background check? About two or three days. And um, for the NNA, it doesn't yep. take that long at all, surprisingly. Mm -hmm. Let's say five, just to be on the outside. Um, it doesn't take that long, yeah. It doesn't. Nikki's Universe says, thank you. I'll check out those videos. Good vibes. Well, we appreciate it. That's what we mm -hmm. shoot for over here. And Tangie, we're going to wrap this up. Tangie says, hi, ladies. I've been researching fingerprinting in Maryland and can't locate any info. Do you know where I can check? You won't find anything, Tangie. Most states can do ink fingerprinting. You won't find anything. That says it in print. Yeah. Um, it's not, that could be back to a side, another side service because you don't. It's not notary required. Right. It's not a notarial act. Yeah. So hey, Jorge, it's not a notarial <laughs> act, Tangie. So check out my free fingerprinting video on YouTube, and I actually have the um the you the fingerprinting course if you want to do it like a pro, and actually add that as a real service. Okay, don't yeah. wing it. But yeah, you won't find any information. The ink fingerprinting, you're good to go. It's when it's the um, live scan, when you run into a few more problems, because you might have to have a channeler, somebody that's going to facilitate this whole thing. So I don't yeah. offer that. I don't do that. I only do the old fashioned ink and people still need that every day. Yeah. Well, anything else you want to add, Angela, before we that's head out? Right. No. You can take it out. Well, guys, we appreciate y'all hanging out with us on a Friday. Again, don't be making excuses. Get your money. <laughs> and we will see you guys on Monday, okay? Have a great rest Bye. of your weekend. Have a, have a and much weekend. success out there. Bye. Thank you again for listening to the Notary Life with Kimmy podcast. We would love to be a part of your notary journey. Please visit us at notaryeducatorsllc.com for all of your notary training needs. Also, please feel free to join the Notary Life with Kimmy YouTube channel, where Kimmy has over 400 videos that will help you to grow and build a successful notary business. Until the next episode, we wish you much success on your journey. Bye.